money, we about to get a little spiffy, okay? I'm about to go over my 23, 24, and 25 week update of pregnancy. Where have I been for three weeks? Yes, I have been feeling good. Like, I just have no bad symptoms. Like, I am doing amazing. Um, No morning sickness. No throwing up. Food aversions, yes. Food aversions was on 10 for these three weeks. But let's get into week 23. At 23 weeks pregnant, I was uh, feeling out of breath, right? I started feeling like out of breath. I would go up the steps. I would feel like, oh my goodness, when will I make it to the top? And then when I get to the top, I got to take a pause, break, and just really get myself in order. Um, week 23 was amazing. I didn't have any bad symptoms. No vomiting, no nausea. I did have headaches, lots of headaches. Um, I've noticed that my feet are bigger. I can't fit my shoes, my tennis shoes, my sneakers. Um, when I went to go put them on to go to work, I could not fit them. Um, my nails are growing so fast. Like this week has been week 23, that is, was uh, amazing because uh, I noticed that my nails was growing. And even now at week 25, they are really long, like to the point where I have to go get them done. Um, but for the most part, week 23 was good. No bad, uh, nothing, just out of breath a lot. At week 24, I started to notice that my discharge had increased. I've been having like clear discharge, a little sticky, sticky, icky, icky. <laughs> Um, clear discharge. Um, it increased, but it wasn't like my water breaking or it wasn't like it increased the way so I would think I have anything. No smell. Um, pretty normal, I would say. That's basically what I've been having my whole pregnancy is uh, discharge. So I did notice that. What else did I notice? I noticed... Um, just being tired, not really tired as far as, because I wasn't exhausted at all, but I just been feeling like, uh when I'm walking, I got to take a stop and take a break. Heaven at week 24 moves so much. Yes, my daughter name is Heaven. She moves so much and I'm starting to feel it when I'm walking, when I'm trying to do the number two. Okay, girlfriend in there like, ma, hurry up. You squishing me. I got to get out of here. Um, yeah, I noticed that at week 24 that when I was using the bathroom, she was kicking. And I'm like, why are you kicking, little mama? This is not time for you to be kicking. I'm trying to use the restroom. It made it a little hard because I was afraid to like use the bathroom, if you know what I mean. The, uh, just a little bit. I was scared because I was like, oh, I don't want to hurt her. But I got to go. So I did kind of get up and like walk a little bit and she calmed down. I think when I'm walking, she goes to sleep. But when, once I stop, I don't know. Like once I'm sitting still, I notice that she is going crazy. It's always when I'm still. When I'm walking, I'm fine. Using the bathroom, I notice that she kicks a lot. I could just be standing here having a conversation with someone. She'll hear music. She, It's like she's dancing. At week 24, it was like she was dancing. Oh, my goodness. And I started paying attention more. Ooh, she just kicked. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. I love this pregnancy. Ooh, let me tell y'all. It is good. Like, honestly, some of these symptoms at week 23 and week 24, good symptoms. I didn't have with Isaiah. I didn't go through... um. I think I was sick. I think I threw up. Like, because if I eat something that I don't want, I throw up with Isaiah. But with heaven, it's just like, oh yeah, eat anything you want. Make sure it got some fat in there, some starch. Have you on a starch? Have you on a starch? Heaven is going to be a starch baby. I can already feel it. She likes French fries. I'm actually stopping at McDonald's. Don't tell nobody, y'all. It's a secret. Keep it between me and you, okay? So week 23 and 24 was um super different. Like I didn't have any bad symptoms at all. The out of breath. Sorry, y'all. 
the out of breath I think is expected because I'm my stomach is expanding. Um, week twenty five, woo, baby. I'm scared. I'm, I'm nervous about my third trimester now. And let me tell y'all why. Week 25 is where I am today. Week 20, I'm 25 weeks and three days. I decided not to update you all with um, week 23 and 24. And that's not right. I should have. But I was feeling so good. I was up and at them. I was shopping for heaven. Oh, my God, y'all. I have been shopping. I love my baby. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to give my son his little sister and just put her in his arms and see his reaction. But week 23 and 24, I was just shopping. Week 25, oh my goodness. My stomach has got, I woke up and it looked like I swallowed a pig. I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Let me, let me pay attention. I go look in the mirror and I do a compare and contrast from last week to this. I said, oh my God, no wonder I can't breathe. I didn't even notice that my stomach had gotten Men can be so insensitive about feelings. I don't think they really notice it, though. I think it's more so like they don't pay attention. I know that I put on 30 pounds. I don't need you reminding me. Yes, I'm only 25 weeks pregnant. And yes, I put on 30 pounds. So what? I am pregnant. I am going to enjoy my pregnancy, you know, and okay, I put on 35 pounds. I meant 30 pounds. We're not going to claim 35. I hope I'm done at 30. But with Isaiah, I put on 45. So if I put on 45, guess what? I'll lose it. I know how to do it. I am into fitness. I will be okay. Um, You know, I've been trying to walk more. But honestly, y'all, I just want to enjoy this pregnancy without putting the strain on my mind. Like, oh, you got to work out. You got to do this. You got to do that. I'm now about to enter my third trimester. At 27 weeks, you will be. I will be seven months. So at 27 weeks, I can't wait to update you all. That's my third trimester, you guys. I am entering week 26 on Saturday. Today is uh, Tuesday. So Saturday, I'll be 26 weeks, and that'll be my last week for my second trimester. I am super excited. But this week, I have noticed I'm out of breath. I have it, My stomach has really it's got bigger like you can tell I'm pregnant now. At first, you could tell, but it was like, okay, she pregnant. Did she swallow like... Oh, uh, that's a beer belly, you know, but now it's actually like rounding and even though, so before I got pregnant, I lost a lot of weight. I had loose skin, right? I still have the loose skin at the bottom of my stomach, but at the top, it's like, it's, whew, it's expanding and it's tight, itchy. Ladies, get you some anti-itch cream. I, uh, speaking of which, my best friend, it's called Cerave, Cerave, I don't know how to spell that word, but it's C-E-R-A-V-E. Itch Relief Moisturizing Cream. This has been my go-to for my stomach. I have been itching so bad. And this week, starting um, Sunday, I noticed that I had stretch marks. I didn't have stretch marks last week like, like the ones I have now. Um, they're popping out. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, what in the world? Wow. But I'm not super sad about that. I feel like it's much expected to have uh, stretch marks. I've actually been using some cheap dollar store uh, stretch mark uh, cocoa butter, but I'm gonna actually invest into some cocoa butter uh, oil. I think I wanna do oil because the cream is kinda like hard to moisturize, get it around my stomach because I'm not trying to be too rough, you know, because I, I still, you know, with baby expanding, it's pressure on my everything and I just, I wanna be safe. So I'm gonna get some oil, make it much easier to, to get it on. I'm uh, actually doing my own maternity shoot. Reason being is because it's COVID-19 out here. And I'm afraid of catching it again. I did have it in my pregnancy early on and it was scary. So I don't want to go through that again. So I am doing my own maternity shoot. It's going to be something simple. It's just going to be me. As you can see in just a picture. Um, I'm going to upload a few uh, shots that I did. I'm, learning, I'm trying to learn how to up edit i don't know how to edit so if anyone could leave in the comments how to edit photos to make them look more professional i'm definitely willing to learn um the reason being is because with isaiah i didn't do this and i wish i would have but you know it was my first pregnancy who knows about maternity shoots and things like that i didn't i was just more focused on working getting money to take care of him and you know it is what it is it was my first child i was afraid 
now I'm just like embrace this pregnancy, live in the moment and love it. Like, so I can say, and this is more exciting because the outcome is a baby girl, right? It's different than having a baby boy. I'm thinking like boy strong girls. Whew, you just can't resist them. So um, Isaiah has been super lovey, but he, he doesn't like me. <laughs> He's just like, ma, you having a girl. I want a little brother. So he don't care for me too much right now. But, you know, now I'm trying not to lift him as much because I noticed that I had pressure down there week 25. And I was just like, yeah, I got to chill out. I can't lift this baby anymore. He is 45 pounds. I'm carrying around, you know, she's probably about two pounds now. She's getting heavy. And I noticed that my back is starting to hurt and I'm having cramps down there week 25. So um, for the most part, I haven't had any bad, bad symptoms yet, but headaches. Starting Sunday, I noticed that every day on time I wake up, if I get up too fast, I got a headache. And I'm like, oh, Lord, is this what they was talking about going to happen in uh third trimester? So um, I'm super excited. Uh, my stomach is getting big. I noticed that I'm out of breath more. Uh, cramping. Yes. Lots of cramping this week coming. And I know it's probably more to come because my back was cramping the other day. And my lower, my lower parts was, uh, cramping. I noticed when I went to the bathroom, I felt a little pressure. Nothing. None of this is alarming though. I don't know why I'm not running to the emergency room. I'm just like, oh, okay. I have my fetal dobbler. I check on her every day. Yes, I use my fetal dobbler every day and she's still safe. So if you have a fetal dobbler, use it. It gives you a peace of mind. But don't panic if you don't find your baby's heartbeat right away. Take your time. It is no rush to find it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want anybody out here, oh, I couldn't find it, and going crazy. Don't go crazy, ladies. It's okay. It is, it's okay to not be okay. And, you know, if you need any help with the fetal dobbler, reach out to me, comment. Hey, how did you find the heartbeat? Because it takes time. I use baby oil because my stomach be dry and itchy. And that stuff that they use, I just can't deal with it. So I use baby oil with my dobbler and it works. So, ladies, week 25, I'm about to attack it. Interim week, 20, week 26 on Saturday. I'm going to upload a video on Saturday letting y'all know how I'm feeling. But for the most part, this is week 23, 24, and 25 update. I am feeling good. Your girl is glowing. Okay, your girl is glowing. And I'm going to upload some pictures now. So I hope you all enjoy it. You know, live in the moment. Enjoy your pregnancies, ladies. Whatever the situation is, get through it. Go through it and learn from it, okay? I am your girl, Tisha's Fit, 32. It will be 32 soon. I don't know how to change it. Y'all, I'm still learning this YouTube stuff, like... I'm using my phone, so please be mindful that I am using my phone, okay? So if I don't upload every day, it's because I got to delete some stuff to put some stuff and delete, delete. Yes, it's a whole hassle. But, you know, I'm not really computer literate, if that makes any sense. Like, I can't. Me and computers just don't get along unless I have somebody showing me. So, you know, I, I will be investing into another laptop because I did have one when I first started YouTube. But I had to take a break from everything. Um, the goal is to get me a nice laptop that I can do everything on and hopefully, you know, it's coming a little soon. You never know. Um, for the most part, I feel good. Baby is doing fine. Her heart rate ranges from 152 to 166. It has never went under 150. So that's a good thing, right? <laughs> um, ladies, at six months pregnant, take it easy. Don't put too much pressure on yourself if you cannot do something it's no problem ask for help okay i love you guys it's tisha's fit and i'm out